What secret? The third one that will seal the deal. Secret number three is that you're going to need to spend the rest of your life, the rest of your life, protecting your mindset. Let me repeat that. Protecting, shielding your mindset. And I, I wish I could really go deep into this, uh, but it's a short presentation. But the truth is, I could write a whole book on the topic of mindset. And not only could I write a book, I did write a book. You may have heard about my book since it was the number one New York Times bestseller. It's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And I spend that whole book talking about the power of mindset. As I was saying, mindset is everything. And secret number two, the power of choice, is really about mindset as well. But most people are surprised to discover that working on their mindset is not, I repeat, it is not a one-time thing. I wish it was, but it is not. You have to manage your mindset for the rest of your life. Yes or yes. Does that actually surprise you? You know what? It, it surprised me when I first realized it. I thought that when I had made it, I'd be done. I looked at success in life like it was a mountain to climb. I thought that once I got to the top, there was nothing left to do in that arena. But you know what? I've since discovered, as you might have too, life is just not that simple. Life is always what? Changing. What's the word? Changing. That's what keeps it fun too. And it would be pretty boring if everything stayed the same all the time. And it'd also be pretty impossible, true or true. And so the very fact that life is always changing, what's the word? Changing is why taking care of your mindset is a never-ending challenge. It doesn't happen on its own, though. You have to consciously choose, what's the word? Choose to cultivate a strong, confident, optimistic mindset. And that choice happens, my friends, on a moment-to-moment-to-moment -to -moment -to -moment basis for the rest of your life. Yes or yes. Okay, so those are my three secrets in a nutshell. If you realize that the world's natural state is mediocrity, and you also realize that success and failure in life is your choice, and you realize that you have to constantly maintain a healthy mindset, there is nothing, what's the word, nothing you cannot achieve, good or great. And this brings us back to our story about John and Tom. You see, Tom let the rest of the world hold him back. When bad things happened to him, he blamed others. He blamed his bosses for not promoting him. He blamed his wife for leaving him. And he blamed the economy for a business venture that ultimately failed. Tom had a poor mindset. And he did nothing to improve it. And over the years, guess what? It got worse and worse and worse. And by the way, that's what tends to happen. Once you let weeds grow in the garden, it's very hard to stop them from taking over. True or true? Well, John, on the other hand, he realized these secrets early on. He realized that success or failure in life was up to him. Sure, you know, life dealt him setbacks, but John always rose to the occasion. He realized that it, it wasn't what life dealt him, it was how he handled what he was dealt. Yes or yes. And you can see the difference it made in John's life and how these secrets can make the difference in your life too. But you know what?